Okay, hey there. Uh, this is Jay Gun Jen back here once more with the what I think is probably gonna be my last one of these little uh, comparison videos between the Alexion V and the current uh, uh, crop of uh, uh, LED high-powered LEDs that we've been using lately. Um, over here on the left, we have Chrome Saber X. This one is powered by a uh, Petit Crouton 2.0, 7.4 uh, volt uh, lithium ion battery pack, and is running the Luxion V. Uh, the blade effects have been uh, been disabled, so it has a sol solid static blade. Uh, the blade itself is a TCSS Trans White. Uh, it's about uh, 32 inches of exposed length. Uh, it has uh, about 6 feet of the uh, polypropylene film in it. Uh, the blade on uh, BS27 over here is the same thing. <clears throat> it's close to identical as I can get it. Um, the S27 itself runs a CF version 6, uh, which has the, uh, the lead engine green, 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 green setup in it. That's the same as before. Uh, both of the two pairs of greens are wired in series. One pair is running off the, uh, the main LED channel. The second pair is running on the uh, second LED channel off the, uh, the onboard power extender. Uh, set, both sabers are set to deliver one amp, which is... Uh, According to the specs, is uh, overdriving them both. Uh, the specs on the Lux V is 700 milliamps is the maximum, but uh, the uh, uh, it's the only lumen rating you get is at 700 milliamps. They don't have a rating anymore listed uh, because obviously the LED is out of production. But uh, I believe they were rated at like 140 lumens, 160 lumens, somewhere around there at 700 milliamps. And then over here you have you know the lead engine, which uh, right now the specs escape me. Uh, I don't have them here in front of me. But uh, that's currently our brightest one. Uh, this is a, also powered by a 7.4 volt lithium ion battery pack. And uh, let's uh, go ahead and start them up here. Let's start with the Lux V first. There's a 5 degree uh, collimator lens on it. Uh, what I used over here, I believe, was the 8.7. Start up the uh, lead engine now. to be about uh, about the same there. Uh, actually, I, I, if I remember right, I reset this. Uh, PS27 has been reset to the uh, customer, for, and uh, I actually have it running at 900 milliamps. And the reason I did that was so that we could do this. Uh, it spikes the uh, FOC to 1500. So it's the same color as FOC, which is just a shimmering effect over here. With the lead engine because it is a single die LED, but it's uh, or the uh, the Lux V. Yeah. The brightness on uh, the the settings is about the same. I can overdrive the uh, lead engine some more. I can actually set them to run at about 1250, 1300 milliamps, and still be able to get a <coughs> slight bright more brightness increase when there's a uh, clash, but. Uh, uh, it looks to me like they're pretty much on par. Uh, nice evenly lit blades all the way to the tips. Uh, you can tell how bright they actually are and how close they are because the, uh, on the camera here, this all shows this white right here. It's the same over here. Let's look over the whole blade. Get the camera to focus again. There we go. Pretty much identical, it's even the same color. Exact uh, exact shade of green. Oh. There we have it, you can take your own conclusions from this. Anybody has any questions, they can feel free to ask. On the forums or through the uh, YouTube video. So, there you have it. My final test of the Luxion V. Uh, the former King of the Hill against the current uh, King of the Hill, I suppose. The lead engine uh, 10 watt quad green uh, so there you have it uh, I think they're about the same the, uh, the added benefit with the uh, the lead engine is the uh, ability to set it up if you wanted to, to just use two of the dies and uh, have the other two used as your uh, clash flash setup you can't get that with the Lux V because it's a single point uh, single die LED anyway there it is thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time